Hey, what's up, y'all? It's your girl Ash Cash, and I am back with another video today with Splash Bar Express. And in today's video, as you can see by the title of the video, I will be doing some Starburst. Yeah, <laughs> I'm going to be doing some Starburst Jello shots today. And y'all haven't made Jello shots in a uh, year, so <sighs> woo, I might be a little rusty on the edges, but we're gonna find out today. So let me know let me let you guys know what you will need um before we get into this video make sure you guys smash that subscribe button to stay up to date with more videos so i have some clear containers here and that's just so you guys can actually see um the jello being made the flavors in the jello shots this one is a blue raspberry this one is a watermelon we also have a strawberry and then we have a lemon flavor all right so for the lemon i also got a last got a little bit of lemon vodka left that i'm actually going to use for the lemon and then i got regular vodka as well that we're going to be using here for these jello shots so i'm doing vodka jello shots you guys and then i also got some ice as well and you'll see in a few moments why we need the ice and on my stove, I actually have some water that is currently boiling right now. So for starters, we're gonna get our containers. We're going to start with the strawberry and the lemon. All right, so first and foremost, let's see here. Our directions on the box tells us to add three, four cups or six, which is six floor ounces of boiling water. Okay, so I have my boiling water. Ooh, might waste a little bit. So I need to get six ounces of boiling hot water. So I'm gonna pour that in there. And then I'm gonna get another, try not to be misty. actually pour my water in here okay so I have one bowl with the six ounces of water and then my next bowl is going to be six ounces as well all right so I'm going to go ahead and open this strawberry pack pour it inside all right and next I'm going to open my lemon pack I'm going to pour that one inside also. And now we just stir this until it dissolves. Okay, you guys, so that took about a good three to five minutes stir. Just gonna show you guys how it actually looks. So as you can see, it's dissolved. Okay, so next you guys, our next step that it tells us on the box is to pour in six ounces of three fourths cups or six ounces of cold water. So instead of the cold water, what we're going to be using is our vodka. So what I'm gonna do is I have the ice and I'm just gonna do like one or two cubes of ice because I don't wanna water down my vodka. So I just pour, put two cubes of ice in there. And I'm going to take my Amsterdam vodka and I am making six ounces and that's just so the vodka can be cool because it causes the cold water. So just so the vodka can be cooled down. All right, and just pour your vodka inside. And as y'all can see, <laughs> I definitely poured the regular vodka in there instead of the lemon vodka. I am still gonna add a little more lemon vodka to the yellow one. All 
spray and I'm just gonna add a little lemon vodka to it just because this is the lemon flavor that one might take just a little longer to chill so you want to go ahead and stir it in and then we're going to give it a taste so we can see if we need to add more liquor or not and we probably don't Let's see mmm woo that is delicious that actually tastes like starburst wow let me taste the lemon one I know this one's gonna be strong oh real limity I like that y'all starburst might have did something with that okay you guys so I have those two flavors set to the side we're gonna be able to pour everything in the container all at once so next we're gonna go ahead and Get six ounces of water, hot boiling water. Wow, I'm just really making a mess today. Okay. Okay, so basically we're gonna follow the same steps. Go ahead and pour your gelatin in. This is watermelon. And this is the blue raspberry okay and we're gonna go ahead and stir this Okay, you guys, so that's the watermelon and that is the blueberry. All right, so now we can go ahead and add in our vodka. And again, that's six ounces. And as you can see, I'm not really letting the ice melt. I'm just letting the vodka get chilled because I do not want my vodka watered down. All right, so go ahead and get that a stir. Stir in that vodka. All right, and I'm gonna give it a taste. Mmm, so good. Oh, that blueberry and that strawberry between them two. I don't know now. I don't know. Okay, you guys. So now for the fun part. Make sure you have you some Jello cups. Okay, you guys, so I'm just putting down my cups. And my cups do have lids on them. They may chill faster without the lid. But I'm gonna put the lids on mine. Okay, and some of mine I am gonna layer. But um, just for this video purpose, I'm just gonna uh, sh probably show you guys the single ones. And then I am going to layer some of them as well. And the layering process may take a little bit longer because you have to put them back in the refrigerator after the first layer is done. So I'm gonna start with my strawberry. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a Starburst. I'm gonna put the Starburst in the cup. So it's like a little garnish. And 
And we're gonna go ahead and go with the lemon. So we have our lemon. So <laughs> along the way, I just realized how you gonna layer in, you about to put all in the refrigerator, you know? Okay, so anyways, I'm gonna pour my layer cups back into the bowl. I don't know what I was thinking. I just don't know what I was thinking. And make sure your tops are on there very good. All right, so we're gonna do our blue raspberry and our watermelon last. And I do not have any watermelon or blue raspberry starburst. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put all of these in the refrigerator and then we are going to come back and start our layered ones. Okay, I have the singles inside of the freezer now. So now we're going to go ahead and start our um, layered cups. I was trying to debate which colors I wanted to do together. I think I'm going to do the strawberry and blue raspberry together because those two are super delicious. And then I'm going to do the watermelon and lemon together. So I'm going to put the strawberry at the bottom and that way the, the blue raspberry will sit to the side until the strawberry is actually done. Alright, so I'm going to show you guys this is how they look. All right, so I'm actually going to go ahead and put the tops on, put the lids on top of these cups, throw them in the um, fridge, and then once they get done sitting, I will be back. All right, y'all, so I'm back, and the jello shots are actually finished. I actually did not put my jello shots in the refrigerator, as the instruction said to do. I put mine in the freezer because I wanted them to cool off faster, um, to chill faster, pretty much, and to take their mold. So it actually only took about an hour for the ones that are not layered. The ones that are layered, it's gonna take two hours. The reason why it's gonna take two hours for the ones that are layered is because the first layer is gonna take about an hour, and then the second layer is gonna take another hour. So choose wisely if you wanna do them layer. So this is the finished product I'm going to show you guys. So this is the finished product. Oop. <laughs> This is the layered one. As you can see, the lemon and the watermelon. And this is the strawberry and your blue raspberry. That is your pink starburst, which is your strawberry. This is your lemon, blue raspberry, and that is your watermelon. So we are gonna taste these, yes. They look so delicious, I cannot wait to try them. Okay, you guys, so I actually got a spoon because I'm not trying to be sucking out the cup on the camera. You know, there's a little bit ghetto to be doing it. So, um, I'm going to try my layered one first. I'm going to try this strawberry and this blueberry first. So let's see how this tastes. Mmm. And I taste the vodka in these too. Mmm. This is delicious. Oh my God, this is so good. I might eat like 10 of these tonight. Okay. I'm gonna tell y'all which one I like better. But you can definitely taste the vodka in here. And it's not too strong. That's what, I did not want these to be too strong because this has like a sweet taste to it um, with the jello. So I didn't want it to be too strong, but I still want to taste my alcohol and I can taste it. Mm, good. 
Okay, so let's try this one. That is the watermelon and the lemon. That one's strong. Y'all remember we put the lemon vodka inside of the lemon also? This one is really strong. It's like you get that watermelon flavor and then the aftertaste is that lemon flavor. Mm, okay. I'll finish that later. So, let's do our blue raspberry. And as y'all can see, I put the candies on top. I'm going to try the one without the candy. Because I'm not about to eat no candy. Oh! That's the blue raspberry for me. Mmm. This one's strong too. So this one is strong. And the mix with the watermelon and the lemon is strong so far. Keep watching because I'm going to tell y'all which one I like better. Okay. Let's try lemon now by itself. I'm nervous. And this one actually has a little Starburst in it. So you can eat it with the Starburst. Mmm. Wow. Hold on now. The lemon kind of good too now, y'all. The lemon is kind of good. It definitely tastes like lemon but it's a good lemon okay this is gonna be a hard choice okay which one we haven't tried the green the watermelon let's see oh yeah it's kind of hard to pick right now You get all your flavors in each one of these. So if you get your watermelon, you're gonna taste watermelon. Get your blue raspberry, you're gonna taste that. Let me see, let me see. Okay, okay y'all. It's the strawberry and the blue raspberry for me, y'all. I like the strawberry and the blue raspberry. That's the lemon and the watermelon, they good too. But that strawberry and that blue raspberry, it just sits nice on the tongue. Okay, y'all. So, again, that was the Starburst Duos flavor. So, make these. Let me know how they come out for you guys. <clears throat> Drop it down in the comments. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel. That is the end of the video. You guys, I will do some more jello shots for you guys as well. Coming up really soon. I think I have two more recipes that I want to do for jello shots. So those will be coming up soon. So make sure you stay tuned. Make sure you are subscribed to this channel so you do not miss out on this recipe. Because these are going to be good for your next party. And trust me, these are a good party favor to get the guests going. Alright? And it's the next video. Your girl is out.